Come on, mate. Come on. So here we are now, this is still as I said to you, the old, one of the arterial roads coming into the arteries I should say, coming into the, um, into Andover, coming over from Whitchurch, you know, short cut off the A30 to come this way. Um, come over darling, at the A303, uh, no the A34, it's a short cut, look. Why do I say it's a shortcut? It's a shortcut for people that need to do deliveries. Up in front of us is a couple of um, places that are um, commercial parks, you know, of different description. There's a couple up there, so deliveries are coming that way rather than go right around the outside and drive back up this road. This way they'll cut through. It's plenty big enough for lorries. And you know, you get all the other traffic that you'd normally get on a road this side. The Arctic's on here, all sorts. And obviously, living out in the countryside, you get, um, surprisingly often, yeah, I would say that's fair, surprisingly often you'll get a lot of tractor farm machinery come down this road and, and go more or less right through Andover. Um, Which is the quickest way to get to another lot of ground they've got, but from the other side, you know, when they're farming. Come on. Like this field here, I think I'm right in the same. The road goes down by the side, and then it goes to another road similar to this, you know, an A road, I think, it goes to. So, but you come onto this, this great big, the same great big field, you know, massive field. So there you are, little old blossom, lovely little girl, kind natured horse, you know, and we've shown her loads of bits and pieces today she's never seen before, and I'm very pleased with the way she's coped. I know some people would say, oh dear, I don't know how you do it. Well, how you do it is experience, I suppose. Just, you know, the experience of understanding I suppose really over the years 90% of me working life let's say 80% of it has been horses you've had to do other things to make ends meet you couldn't there weren't the interest in driving um, you know when I started driving there weren't the interest it was waning you still had a few people though know, that was using horses, like there used to be a greengrocer used to call around uh, the streets that I knew of, Coleman definitely. Another thing that used to come around was Corona, that was like soft drinks, you know. And they'd have a big trolley loaded up and they used to do household deliveries of Corona and they used horses for them. Um, a few other, obviously, the round of bone men, there's a few bakers still about using horses. Maybe you've heard me say it before. But that bus is lovely. Lovely for all to see. Because the engine's in the back. So when the front of the bus comes, they can hear the engine, and all of a sudden the bus is there before the bloody engine, do you know what I mean? And you can see they go, oh, what's that? But after they've seen two or three, that's fine. The other thing that's lovely is we go downtown, um, 
we ain't we haven't got to do it with this because we've seen plenty of local buses. But we'll go downtown to where the bus station is and they've got a lot of they've got a lot of uh, buses parked up. Why the lads have their lunch and changing shifts and whatever. And uh, we we'll, we can drive right alongside them and they can see their faces, you know, their reflection in the glass. <laughs> So that's a nice thing to be able to do. Come on, baby, up you go. There you go. Yes, you are, my darling. So there's another one now. Whenever one comes up here, there's only one coming back. Big morning like now. And then, you know, mid-afternoon. So that's like... So you see, you hear the engine on the back, but nothing on the front. The other thing, of course, that relates to is now the modern hybrid and electric cars, which you can't hardly hear at all. Um, so it's purely a visual thing. Come on. Come up, mate. Come on. Come on. Come up, mate. So there you are, look, there's a funny thing in it. So you've not seen one of them before. What is that doing in the middle of the countryside? Someone's put a bus stop. I don't know it's a bus stop, this is good. Of course that is. So that's a very successful morning, very nice. Come on darling. No, you're not going in there. Come over here. Come on. I tell you the worst thing in the world with her. One day we was going down the <laughs> down the road not far from home. Five, six hundred yards or so. Maybe oh, that maybe a bit longer. And a neighbour was out there just shutting her gate and uh, she was eating an apple, the, the, the neighbour. So before I could stop her, she she give Holster <laughs> the apple. Well, do you know that all stopped there the next day? And I say, well, there's a lady with the apple, you know. <laughs> we can't blame her for that, can you? This... Come on. <laughs> well, obviously, you can't allow her to do it, can you, on the other hand, you know? You've got to be listening to you. The other thing I'm pleased about, we've done a few as well, I don't know, maybe. Uh, Maybe uh, two mile in town we've done today. You know, from when we left the coffee shop, you know, when we were having the coffee, two mile in town from there. And, uh, come on, mate. Come on. Ah, that's it. On you go, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, mate, there you go. You good baby, ain't you? So, as you saw on the left-hand side, there is no interest to it whatsoever, right? It's all over this side. And if she can have a look over this side, then that's what she'll do. There you go, see? Let's go down there. Come over, darling. Come on. There's a good one, baby. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, darling. Okay, we're off that road now. And we're going up a nice country lane now. And there's lots of shady bits. Can you see? It's a lovely way to start the day with all because you come out but when on these hot days I mean because you've got this lovely shady bit so it's cooler so when they're walking in they're not getting you know too hot and sticky they're walking in the shade like yourself you know you've got your t-shirt and shorts on and you walk through somewhere that's shady it's very pleasant when you're out in the sun it's not so pleasant when it's very strong so She can walk along here now. There's very little traffic on this road. 
but after saying that we'll pass it in a minute if I remember when we pass it in about half a mile there's a great big farm I mean it's a massive amount of ground and that's the farmyard not a farmyard like we can think of with chickens running about and a pig of pens and or a pen of pigs even <laughs> come up come over darling uh, and that type of thing and a little old sweet farmhouse it's just a proper commercial farm massive and it looks after a great deal of ground so out of there will come all the farm machinery that you could possibly imagine thank you thank you all right So when this, uh, see that look, so I'm going to have a look at that blunt. <laughs> Makes me laugh, this all sort of fun. So I'm going to let this rain go now, like this one. And really inform me of anything behind and I can see what's in front. And uh, she might just decide to come over here and have a little look at what's happening. She might see this driveway and think, well, we go up there and see what's happening. This makes me laugh. Here now, have a little investigate. Now you'd think with this, <laughs> there's a cone there and a dustbin. You think she'd want to avoid that, wouldn't you? And bear in mind she's not been up this road before. So how does that work? You know, funny. But there's not much of interest on this side of the road. It's more houses this side and stuff like that and driveways. So you know, if I drop them reins on there and let her just go on her own, do her own thing. Yeah. You can see over there, see, so she have a look there. Now she'll have a look, oh, what's going on up there then? I'll come over here then. So just passing at the struggle <laughs> up the road and keep one line. She's basically weaving about. She's going here, knock me off the seat now with the brush from the trees. <laughs> Come on, Gil. Go, Gil. So I think you can see she's going along perfectly happy. If there's anything else on this trip that's worth filming, we'll film for you. But I think basically... You know, we've covered most things today. So we'll have a cup of tea when we get home. She'll have a nice shower with the pressure washer. With just lukewarm water. And then she'll be scraped down. She'll go in and have her breakfast. She had a small one this morning because she was going to work. But she'll go and have like about half a bucket for us when she gets back. And all the haylid she wants to eat. And that'll be a real good... So, you know, just to finish, what we're doing over here, I really don't know. But now we're going back over there. We should go, oh, look, there's a rug there. What's up here then? Can we go up there or not? So a little squirrel went across the road. She caught her eye, just lifted her head, pricked her ears and had a look. So there you go. 